So another one of these topics that really seems to confuse students is logarithms. And it's another one of those things where it doesn't matter how complicated the question is, for me what I've noticed is it really comes down to understanding what it actually means. So you've probably noticed, you can tell a student until you're blue in the face that a logarithm just means the value of the power, but it never quite seems to click. Um, so I've come up with my own little way which I like to teach it. So the way I look at it is how many times do I need to multiply blah in order to get to blah? In other words, if I've got log base two of eight, this is basically asking how many twos do I need to multiply by the, each other in order to get to that eight? So it's two times two times two. Three twos are required to get to eight. Okay, so the answer is three. This literally means three. And I will drill them on a whole bunch of different ones of these, usually pretty simple, until I can sort of get that idea. And then they can kind of see that, oh, well, two to the power of three equals eight. So the logarithm literally is just the power. But this is only where I begin because part of the problem is that the word logarithm is just a really strange sounding word and it seems a little bit out of place until you look at its history again. So logarithm is a Greek word which literally means how many numbers. So if we look again at that log base two of eight, it's asking how many twos are required to get to that eight. And the word logos literally means how many. And I, I, I'd work with students, I'd be like, so how, uh, logos fingers, and they'd answer four and that sort of thing, so they get the idea. And then I'd go over the fact that arithmos means number, a little bit like arithmetic, right? Um, so logos, how many, arithmos, numbers, how many numbers are required to get to, in our previous example, the eight. And once I've gone over this a few times and spent a few minutes on it, students tend to really, really get it and find that even doing the more complicated equations and learning the log laws and this sort of stuff isn't quite so hard. So um, yeah, let me know what you think. If you think this was something that might work for you, I'd love to hear, um, hear from you. So please send me a message and yeah, let me know how you go. And if you've got any ideas which work really well for you, I'd love to hear them as well. So thanks very much for watching.